What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over Google Ads Manager accounts. So if you manage multiple accounts or if you want to learn how to manage multiple accounts at once, this is the way to do it. It was previously referred to as My Client Center, but what it allows you to do is have one single login. It's completely free to create and it's completely free to have forever. And with that single login, you can manage multiple accounts and see reporting, you can see performance, you can get consolidated monthly invoices. So there's a lot of different benefits to using manager accounts, most notably that you don't have to log out and log back into different accounts all day long if you have multiple clients or multiple accounts for different businesses that you own. So in order to create an account, you just have to come right here to the manager accounts homepage. I will link this in the video description so you can easily find this link. You can see it at the top here if you wanna just copy the link up here. Um, but all you have to do is click on create a manager account and go through the step-by-step -step process of creating your account. And once you do that, then what you can do is start adding different Google ads accounts into your manager account. So you can see right here, I've created an example. So I have beachfront decor manager account within my manager account. I have my beachfront decor, Google ads account and my farmhouse goals, Google ads account. So we're not running any advertisements specifically from our manager account. It's just an umbrella that allows us to click quickly navigate between different accounts here. So let's go through some of the benefits of having manager accounts. And then what I'm going to do is show you how to add users and how to add different accounts into your manager account as well. So some of the different benefits of creating a Google ads manager account, the most, the most notable thing is that you can work without signing out of your manager account all day long. So for, Forever. If you have a manager account, you can easily navigate and go from one account to the other. You can work on multiple accounts throughout the day. If you say, Hey, I need to create a campaign in this account. I need to pull a report from this account. It's much easier to do all of that from your one single umbrella manager account. Now, one of the things that you can do with these types of accounts is use monthly invoicing. Monthly invoicing is available only to manager accounts. So what it allows you to do is easily pay all of your Google ads bills just with one payment rather than having a bunch of separate payments throughout the month, depending on how much you're spending. Now, the other thing you can do is add and remove Google ads accounts with ease and you can add and remove users as well. So if you're running an advertising agency, you hire someone new, you want to add them onto your manager account, you can easily do that. And you can even set up different manager accounts if you have employees that are maybe they're managing multiple clients at the same time. So you can set up different manager accounts within your business. So there's no limit to what you can do with them. So if we come back over here to our manager account for Beachfront Decor, you can see I have my Beachfront Decor Google Ads account in here and my Farmhouse Goals Google Ads account. So this is the table view. There's also a map view. So if we click on the map view here, you can see our manager account and then some of our different accounts here. And as we come over, you can see that it will give us all the detail about performance. Now it's only looking at a close, a small period of time. So if we do all time and I click on beachfront decor, I haven't run any ads in this account yet. If I click on farmhouse goals, you can see I've spent over 6,500 in this account. So it allows you to easily navigate to different accounts and see everything you need to. Okay, so now let's say I want to give my farmhouse goals email access to my beachfront decor manager account. So in this case, let's just say you have someone working for you and you would want to give them access to a manager account where you have different client accounts. What you can do is you're going to come over here to tools and settings and you're going to go to access and security. Now to see the map like this, go to tools and settings and click on account map and that will bring you right to this page. So if we go to tools and settings and we click on access and security, what you can see is users in my beachfront decor manager account is just me. So that's the only one right now. So what I can do is click to add a new user. So we're going to enter the farmhouse goals email address here. So this is where you're going to have to enter the email for whether it's somebody working at your company or if you're giving access to a client, whoever you're giving access to, you need to make sure they have a Google account. If not, they're going to have to create a Google account. And then what you do is after you enter the email here, you want to select the account access level. So let's say I want to give farmhouse goals standard access. We can send the invitation. Now, once the inv invitation is sent, you can see the invited user here, the access level, when they were invited, the, the current status, and we can revoke this invitation. So if you send an invitation by accident, you can always revoke it. 
or if somebody's just not accepting it after a long period of time, just revoke it so you don't have a pending invitation out there. Now, with whoever you're sending the invitation to, they're gonna have to go into their email and accept it in their email. Okay, so once you get into your email, you're gonna get an email that looks like this, accept your invitation to access a Google Ads account. So we're gonna scroll down here, and then what we need to do is click on accept invitation. Hey everyone, thank you for your support watching my videos over the years. If you wanna to continue to support my channels while also using some of the best marketing tools, you can try either SEMrush or SpyFu if you haven't already. Both are great PPC and SEO tools. If you use the link at the bottom here for either one, they are affiliate links, so it will help support my channel and support Surfside PPC. If you're not interested, no problem. Back to the video. It's gonna say which account we're being invited to, what the customer ID is, what the access level that they're giving us is, and then we can click on accept invitation. Okay, so now all we have to do, you can see hello and welcome to Google Ads, is click on continue to accept the invitation. Now, if I sign into my Farmhouse Goals account here, so I'm currently in my Farmhouse Goals account, so if I go to my campaigns, you can see there's different campaigns for Farmhouse Goals. Well, if we come over here to the right-hand side, you can see I'm signed into my Farmhouse Goals, ac at gmail.com. So what you're gonna see down here now is the Beachfront Decor Manager account. So since I just granted access to this email for my manager account, what I can do now is come right here and click on the manager account. It's gonna open it up and you can see now from my farmhouse goals, Gmail, my Google account, what you can see is I, can, I have access to my manager account. I can come here to accounts and under accounts, you're gonna see performance and there you'll see the different accounts that I have access to now. So it's both beachfront decor and farmhouse goals. So if we have this here so you can see it looks exactly the same now for my farmhouse goals google account and for my beachfront decor google account so if we come back over here and we look at my accounts and performance you're going to see the same exact thing so that's how you can give someone access to your manager account so this can be very helpful for employees working at your company if you want them to have access to one of your manager accounts or your entire manager account now what you can do to take it a step further is you can actually add manager accounts into your manager account. So what that means is, let's say I come over here to Surfside PPC. So I have, for Surfside PPC, I have a manager account, it's called Surfside PPC, and then I have a Google Ads account within there. So you can see my direct manager is Surfside PPC, there's a different Google Ads ID here, and then my account is actually Surfside PPC, different Google Ads ID. So this is where I run ads, this is where I keep track of all of the different client accounts or any accounts that I own. This is just an example manager account, so it's not what I actually use. So what we can do is actually add our Beachfront Decor manager account into our Surfside PPC manager account. Now in order to do that, we're gonna click on accounts here. So when you click on accounts and we come here to performance, it's gonna show all of our different accounts and it's gonna show our manager account. So what we wanna do is click on the plus sign here and we wanna link an existing account to our current manager account. So we're gonna click link existing account. And what you need now is your customer ID. So if you're working with a client with an existing account, you're gonna to have to have them send that customer ID to you. So if I come over here and we're in my Beachfront Decor Manager account, you can see my customer ID. It's up here in the top right corner. So 636-678-3505, I can copy this. We're gonna come back over to my Surfside PPC account. We're gonna to try to link this account here, click on send request. And now you'll see we have a pending link request out here to the customer ID that we entered, which is my Beachfront Decor Manager account. So we're gonna come over to our Beachfront Decor email again. And you're gonna see here, I'm in my Beachfront Decor Gmail account. So if we scroll down here, you can see you have a pending request to link your account to a manager account. So we're gonna scroll down here and click on accept request. Now when you do that, it's gonna bring you back to access and security. So if we come over here to tools and settings, this page right here, access and security, and you can see we have a link request, Surfside PPC, the request was received on this date, who sent it, so we can either accept or decline. So I'm gonna click on accept. We're gonna grant Surfside PPC access to my account. And what you're gonna see now is we have users over here. So our users are farmhousegoalsac at gmail.com. That's what I showed you pre in the previous step. We obviously have ourselves as a user. And then if we come over here to managers, you can see we have Surfside PPC here as being able to manage our Google Ads account that are within our Beachfront Decor Manager account. So a little bit confusing saying it like that, but let's come back over to Surfside PPC and refresh the page. Now what you can see here is if we come into settings and sub account settings, you can see we have our Surfside PPC Google Ads account, which was already linked here. And then what we have is our Beachfront Decor Manager account. 
So if we click on this drop down, you can see Beachfront Decor and Farmhouse Goals are two separate Google Ads accounts. So if you click on the drop down up here, you can easily access any account you want to. You just need to navigate through your different accounts. If I click on Beachfront Decor, I can come in here and start creating campaigns for Beachfront Decor. Now there's different things you can do at every single access level. So just be aware that if you do link other manager accounts to your manager account or other client Google Ads accounts, there's certain things you're gonna be able to do and not do. For the most part, you have access to everything, but you can't change logins or delete the account. For some of them, you don't have access to billing or some of them are just read only. So just understand the different access levels as you're allowing people to access your account. So if I come over here to tools and settings, we come over here to setup and we click on access and security. So let's come back over here to Surfside PPC and do the same thing. Let's make sure we, now if we come back over here to tools and settings and we go to setup and we click on access and security, it's gonna bring us to this page. So you can see for Surfside PPC, I'm the only user with access. There's no managers for any of my accounts or anything like that. So what I can do is let's just say I wanna add farmhouse goals again to this account. So to look at some of the different access levels here, so we enter our email, some of the different options, email only, view reports. So that's perfect if you just want to have somebody who can look at the reports, see how the data is, and that's all they that's all they can do in your account. Billing, so view and edit billing information, read only. So this could be really useful instead of having the email only and just view reports. You can actually view reports, edit reports, view users, managers and product links, add email only users, view billing information, view campaigns and use planning tools, but you can't edit campaigns, you can't edit anything that's part of the advertising campaigns that you're running. Standard gives someone access to everything besides editing users, and then administrative allows you to access absolutely everything. The only thing you can't do is delete the account or change any of the login settings. So using manager accounts makes your life a lot easier because you can navigate between all these different accounts. And if you're running a PPC agency, a Google Ads agency, you absolutely need a manager account. One thing that you can do is create different manager accounts for different employees. So you understand, hey, this employee is managing these five accounts. This employee is managing these five accounts. And then you always have those accounts in the separate manager accounts. Otherwise, what you can do is just say, we're going to have one huge manager account and add all of our clients into it. And everyone's going to have access to that manager account. So different ways to organize how you give access to employees or clients or how you gain access to different client accounts. So what you're gonna to have to do is if you do have a client account you wanna add into your manager account, then what you do, come over here to accounts, it's gonna pull up the performance page. You have to click on the plus sign here where you can either create a new manager account, which you wouldn't wanna do in this case. You can create a new account for your client. I generally recommend clients create their own account so they can manage everything themselves as well. Some clients don't wanna do that, so you can create an account for them, manage it yourself, when you click on link existing account, all you need is for your client to give you their existing customer ID. You send the request, they check their email and accept it. And that allows you to gain access to different accounts. And then, like I said, tools and settings, setup, account access and security. That's how you can add people to give access to the accounts that you currently have access to. So a lot of different things about access here, different accounts, you know, Google ads accounts, manager accounts. So. It can be a little bit confusing, all of this, but trying to make it as simple as possible, what you want to do is link accounts into your manager account, add users to manage those accounts if you have people to manage them. Otherwise, you manage them yourselves, and you can easily just navigate between all your different accounts. And if we come over here to accounts one more time, instead of looking at it as a table, look at it as a map. It makes it a little bit easier with the map here where you have Surfside PPC. We have our Surfside PPC account. If I click on this manager account, what we can do is go through and look at some of our other accounts here as well. So you can see performance much easier doing it this way. So it allows you to understand exactly what's happening in every single account. You can pull reports much easier. There's a lot of different things that you can do if you have a manager account and you keep everything really organized, especially as you start getting into, you know, more than six, seven, eight, nine accounts. You need to make sure everything's organized so you can navigate see performance, make the changes you need to on a given day, and just be much more efficient as you're managing Google Ads accounts. So hopefully this all made sense. If you are managing multiple accounts, make sure you set up a manager account. It just makes everything a lot easier. So thanks for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.